recognize the chairperson of the Colo Politics Commission. I recognize the deputy chair of Private Sector Foundation, Yuri, and our hosts, the Stroke Foundation. Thank you for keeping us, and of course, the people who have brought us here. Can I say, how are you ladies? Yeah. Are you happy? Yes. I think I'm the most happiest person here. I am the most happiest. Because this Gura project, I worked in it from the first day of negotiation. In the Minister of Gender. Because it's really gender, who is the coordinating ADT? But we identified the private sector to work with us because of the expertise. Yuri, by the way, you were brought by the president. In the cabinet meeting, he said, bring Yuri for further addition. So we expect a lot from you. When you are going back to report, we shall say, you have done A, B, C, D. This is what has come out of Yuri. Because we had brought moves. And he said, why don't you bring this thing of Pesika? And he brought his issue. So there's a lot of expectation. So all of you were identified because of your expertise. You, the partners. But we remember, this project is under the Ministry of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. But we partner with Private Sector Foundation, and also we partner with URI. But when it comes to reporting, my ministry reports. You understand what I'm saying? So the first time my minister directed me to handle this project under our Department of Labor, we met Minister of Finance. And the, the late minister did not understand the concept. So I told them if I go there, if there are no women with disabilities, I will not discuss the project. But I'm happy that the World Bank accepted to put us, not as a sentence, but as equal partners in this project. But what I'm happy with, we are the first cohort. Just last week, one of the officers came to my office from the department and said, Honorable Sam, I want to take you again to talk to CDOs. I said, I have talked to CDOs and I'm tired. Please, I want an activity. And I'm happy today to see an activity and I've seen the products. <laughs> the ladies here are not going to be the same. Because the purpose of this project is to pick the women already in business. Yes. And because we say PDM will look at the other ones who are not in business. Yes. Grow should look at people who are in the micro and small. Then when you are in the medium, we shall send you to UDB. When you grow. So we expect when you get these skills, you are going to get employment opportunities for others because we expect you to train other people to also be able to understand the skill you have learned today because you cannot go to everybody. Yeah. So that's what the project is all about. Increase your income and see how we can work. But I'll be invited here to graduate you. And I want to give apologies. I came late because my office is overpacked. Even now I have three meetings waiting for me in office. So I will only demonstrate giving cards maybe to 10 people and you allow me to run away. Don't say I've run away because I'm fearing women. For me, my life is a woman. And a woman, when a disabled woman is proud, nobody jokes around with us, especially those men. When you have money in the pocket, you don't again go negotiating for other things. And you know that you're empowered, you can take your child to school, you can do your hair, and you're all very smart. You know, I was talking with my neighbor, she said, for you, your hair is short. I said, mine is natural, so even if the rain is falling, I have no problem. But most of you here look so beautiful. And when you are seated, I don't even see the disability. So when you have money, when you are Mugaga, there's no what? Being a Mulema, okay? So you have to make the money. And in the government of Uganda, under the leadership of the president, he has emphasized wealth creation and income generation. So if we don't have household income, then it means we are not running along the program of the president of Uganda. So my encouragement that ladies who are being trained today, take these skills seriously. I know you have some small money stacks from there. I am not going to make a promise here. But I know in the project document, in my ministry, we have small money. We shall not give you cash. We can give you the machine. Yes, but I am going to negotiate because women are many. 
in the whole country. So I'm going to tell them there's a first group. Why don't we say something? Thank you to them. So we shall see. Honorable Sarah has talked about the, the 10 the 10 10 percent. That is the money we're putting in the bank. But we have some money we are calling in the ministry grant under the same grow project. I'm going to talk to the commissioner in charge, and I will be able to tell him we have already passed out some people. What do we do? And we had promised that by May or June, we should get this money begin rolling. So if this money comes out, I have had the women of soap talking. I've had the women of the cakes coming out to talk, and I think something will be done. Honorable Sarah said here that we shall help you. We have already engaged URSB together with PSU, FU. We are saying let us register the women. We want to give you certification of your product so that you can sell with your name there. You can even call it grow. You can do something on your project so that the product begins to be what? Marketed. So my prayer is that let us go back and work hard. We will go back to the ministry and look at the kitchen and see how much do we have and how much we can give you. I've been told these are 73, but I don't know what we shall do because we might have to put them in the groups. Like bakery, put the soap together, put the other institutions together. But I will be guided by the technical people. I'm just a politician, but I know the support is in the ministry. I also want to say that uh, this project here is expected to deliver you from where you are. You have been a small, this, a micro person, now you move too small. Why is it in the labor department to encourage you to also recruit others to learn? And then you become a manager, you know? I heard you singing lead. Is it lead, lead or what? <laughs> when you're a leader, others must follow. You can't be a leader without what? Followers. So when you're singing that song, not the meaning. When you lead, others must what? Follow. So between one of you, if you produce five people each, then we know that grow has really grown. And I think this is something that we pray for. I also want to say that where are some of us can still access money of PDM. Let's also look for that one million in our parishes because that money is there. That one, you get it also and use it. We also have a yoga, which is giving some of the enterprises some support. But I think for this group project, this one, I am going to open my eyes in the ministry and ensure that the team here becomes the first beneficiary. And you are very lucky. Honorable Sarah and you receive because it is central region, because now I'm waiting to hear what is happening in the other regions. <laughs> you know, so we need to move because we have to get it out and see that all these projects are handled. But I want to say to the graduates, this is a very important day for you today. You are going back with a certificate. You are going back with the knowledge. You are going back with the added network of friends. Yes. I know Reba Safia was saying we train you at home, but for me, I believe in socializing. There's something you have learned here, coordination, sharing, and knowing how to work together. You even know among you, some of you are saying, hmm, banange for me. You know even in the Bible, there were three people. They gave them some money by the boss. One of them said to Bare, and when he married it and came to the boss, the boss said, since you don't know how to use it, let me give to the one who, what? who made the profit. So even the Bible tells us we must make what? Profits. So go back and make profit. And our office will always be open. Let's stop issues of self-pity. We now need to beat the odds with such projects which are accepting us as women with what? Disabilities. In a special way, I want to thank private sector foundation for having taken the arm of, of training. I think they are running faster than the ministry. I don't, I'm not ashamed to say it. You are running faster than us. Yuri, you are running faster than us. But I am already engaging my team to see that we also run. Because we must move together. We cannot have my ministry coordinating when other partners are running. So we must run faster and catch up with you. And this one I promise you we shall handle it. And I want to say, ladies, today as we end here, 
that we shall be able to support you where we can. And we shall give you information. And I hope that all the contacts of the women will arrive to office so that I can pass it over to the department to see what can we do, how do we take over to see how we support these women. I want to say all this for God and my country. And I want to pray that you get success. And may God bless you. Reach home. Greet all the people you love. Even those ones you hate. So uh, we are going to...